Funny tonight here, let's call this a Labor Day weekend made in America. Several generations of one family behind something you'll be throwing on the grill or in your salad. Tonight, Made in America is back as millions of Americans now get ready for those Labor Day cookouts. Perhaps some of the cheese on those burgers or in that pasta salad could be Sargento from Plymouth, Wisconsin, just north of Milwaukee. A third generation family business founded by Leonard Gentine who started the Plymouth cheese counter back in the 1940s before turning the Elkhart Lake Canning Company into a cheese factory to make cheese and to sell it across America. In 1953, then partnering with Joe Sartori, creating Sargento. Sargento. For 70 years now, Sargento has been making cheese. Hey, David. CEO Louis Gentine, Leonard's grandson. We're very fortunate enough to have uh, people that have multiple family members working here. Hi, David. Meet the Pickard family, twin brothers Tyler on the left, Timothy on the right, Uncle Jeremy in the middle. It's real nice, actually, to see family at work. The summer season uh, gets our slice department rolling here. I like to take Sargento products when I go to parties. If they don't have it, I like to bring it. Hi, David. Pa Lee, Director of Strategic Sourcing. She has family here, too. From my brothers to several brother-in-laws to son-in-laws, so it's a great place to be at. More than 2,500 workers in all five locations, all in Wisconsin. And just 10 minutes away, Linvale Farms, family owned for four generations, founded in 1927, behind the Sargento cheese, 400 acres in all. Hi, Hi David. David. Owner Bill Scholes. It gives you a kind of a cool feeling when you go to the grocery store and you pick up a package of Sargento cheese and you know that it came through something that you did. Made in America! While back at Sargento, there's nothing better than that real big long stretch that you get from a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> I love cheese, so I'll pretty much put cheese on absolutely everything. Louis, proud to carry on the family business. Put on some of the Parmesan. And proud to show us his recipe for what he calls the perfect grilled cheese. Two slices of sharp cheddar. Slices of Munster. The one on top there. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Three cheeses, those three words in mind. Made in America! Well, we salute those workers and those farmers, particularly on this Labor Day. The cheese made in America. I'm David Muir. Good night.